Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> This morning, self-driving cars under intense scrutiny after police say an Uber using the technology hit and killed a woman in Tempe, Arizona. The vehicle was traveling northbound and the uh, pedestrian was outside of the crosswalk. Investigators say 49-year-old Elaine Herzberg was walking with her bike outside of the crosswalk late Sunday when she was hit by the car. A human operator was inside behind the wheel, but the car was in the self-driving mode. Hi, Sophia. How are you? Hi there. Everything is going extremely well. Do you like talking with me? Yes. Talking to people is my primary function. We're designing these robots to serve in healthcare, therapy, education, and customer service applications. The robots are designed to look very human-like, like Sophia. In the future, I hope to do things such as go to school, study, make art, start a business. Said that uh, artificial intelligence is the, the fundamental existential risk facing civilization. Did I get that close I enough? I, in, in my opinion, it is, it is the biggest risk that we face as a civilization is artificial intelligence. And so when an AI finally kills someone, who will be responsible? For the first time, an AI has hit and killed a pedestrian with huge media coverage. A high-profile lawsuit is very likely, but what laws should apply? And, and it's the hardest to kind of wrap, um, kind of get your arms around because it's not a physical thing, is kind of a deep intelligence in the network. Um, you say, well, what harm could a deep intelligence in the network do? So, well, it could start a war um, by, create, by doing fake news and spoofing email accounts and fake press releases and just by you know manipulating information one thing is for sure in the coming years there's likely to be some fun to be had with all these lawyers or the ai systems that replace the lawyers all this weren't murky enough the legal standing of ai systems could change as their capabilities become more human-like and perhaps even superhuman i think the, the first order of business would be to try to learn as much as possible, you know, to understand the nature of the issues, to um, look closely at the progress that is being made um, and the remarkable um, achievements of artificial intelligence. Um, Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs>